What is safe and good for my clay tile? Typically floors we see are Victorian clay tiles or like I have here is a terracotta tile. These tiles are made out of clay and then fired and nice and hard is then used on a floor and sometimes they are made by machine and sometimes they handmade. So this video is going to tell you what sealers will be best for your floor and why the old way of doing it is maybe not so good anymore and what the new way might be to seal the floor. So we recently had a question about what is going to be safe for my terracotta tile. Our client has got a lovely terracotta floor and she is a little bit worried that the finishes we'll be applying to the floor may not be suitable. So I thought I'll make this video for her to explain what we'll be using and how it is safe and best for the floor. So first of all, let's start by looking at what is the old things that was used on the floor. The old way of doing a typical terracotta floor was to enhance the color by using linseed oil, what I have here. And if you did it correctly, you would have thinned it down with either turpentine, what I've got here, or white spirit. That mixture is then applied to the tile and it soaks in and it protects the tile from inside. Then a wax coating is applied, something similar to what I have here. A clear wax coating is applied and that gives the floor sheen and some protection. The problem with that is that for, uh, these products, first of all, contains a very high volume of solvents. And if you do this method, it is awfully smelly and it stays smelly for quite a long while. And then you need to reapply the wax every few months. And what we've seen over the years is that wax buildup locks the dirt in between the layers. And over time, that floor becomes very orangey, ugly, and not so nice because the dirt gets trapped between the, the layers because no matter how hard you try, you just cannot get the floor clean enough for that next coating of wax to be applied. And then of course, all the labor that goes into maintaining the floor. So the modern way is where we move towards something that is not so high, high in solvents. Um, there are still solvents in the product and as years go on, the manufacturers try and remove more and more solvents. And also for those solvents, like the color enhancing impregnate here, the odor is very low. Um, so that is a much better way of doing it. So today I want to talk to you about what we'll do to a typical terracotta tile and why we will be doing it. Now, sometimes a terracotta tile, especially when it's a machine-made tile, similar to the one I have here, this tile will be very smooth. So if we seal this tile, we don't need to worry if we apply a penetrating seal like the color enhancing impregnator because when a mop goes over the top, it would clean quite well. Of course, we need to consider the grout line as well. Sometimes when these tiles are made and they handmade, the surface is a little bit rougher and can grab onto dirt a little easier. And also what dictates whether we use another method, which I'll discuss in a moment, is whether somebody would like a sheen to the surface. Um, or, like in the example here, I have a mat dressing. So what we'll do then, if the, the, the option is not to just have it impregnate sealed, but rather a dressing applied, we'll apply a sealer, like I have here, and then we'll apply a wax dressing over the top, and that is then applied to the floor. And the beauty is, this product is very, very easy to apply with a flat micro microfiber mop. So that is then applied. So the two options you have is either using a color enhancing impregnator that will bring the color out of the terracotta tile, give you that deep orange, and then leave you with a matte finish. It's sealed from inside. The alternative is to use a sealer that will apply to the floor, protecting it from inside, but then apply a dressing over the top. And this is typically applied to older, rougher surface terracotta tiles, typically handmade. Now your choice here is to either go for the matte wax finish, although it still has at somewhat the machine level, or you can have semi-gloss, which means it has a bit more of a sheen. Let's quickly see what it looks like if we apply a color enhancing impregnator to this and what it might mean for your tile. The beauty of what I'm going to do now is sometimes these older tiles do have some imperfections in them. And the imperfections are hidden when the tile's color is enhanced. And that's why we like to use a color enhancing impregnator. So what I'm going to do now is just show you what would happen if we apply a color enhancing impregnator to one side of the tile. You would notice that the tile gets darker. So as the tile gets darker, it dries and it stays darker. 
So that's what we'll notice here. Um, and that hides imperfections. Now, typically, if we use the other products that I have here, we will see a similar effect. And then we will go ahead and apply the dressing over the top that gives you that sheen level. And especially if you have an older terracotta tile, the dressing helps so that you can mop and clean the floor easier. Typically, over time, the dressing needs to be reapplied. And that means that um, you can do that yourself within a few months after. It depends on the use of the tile floor. So I hope that helps. And if you have questions, reach out and we're happy to answer. Thanks a lot.